And now, The Morning Rush. Here we go, everything you need to know to get your day started. Your morning rush begins right now. Governor Ron DeSantis is heading to the Treasure Coast today. His office says he'll be at the Indian River State College's Massey campus in Fort Pierce, alongside the college's president and the Florida Commerce Secretary. He'll be holding a press conference at 10 a.m. We will bring you updates on air and online at CBS12.com. Today, the village of Wellington is expected to vote on a large and controversial development plan in the area's equestrian preserve. Developers and supporters want to rezone about 96 acres of land to build a luxury community. They also want to rebuild and expand Wellington International Showgrounds, making it more modern with added amenities. Those against it want to preserve the integrity of the land and keep it as is. The meeting is set for 5 p.m. today. CBS 12 News got an exclusive new look at the NOR development that is currently under construction in West Palm Beach. The development is located on North Railroad Avenue from 7th Street to Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard, which is just north of downtown West Palm. It's going to feature restaurants, bars, boutique gyms, as well as a hotel and plenty of new housing units. The hope is to roll out the development in phases with the first phase set to open in the first quarter of next year. You can see more right now at CBS 12.com. And this morning, a man is behind bars for first degree murder after confessing to killing his roommate in Port St. Lucie just before Christmas. 26 year old Jerome Marshall Jr. was arrested in Martin County yesterday, accused of murdering his roommate, 33 year old Jamie Peterson, in their home on Southeast Sonetto Court. Detectives determined that he died from a gunshot wound, but declined to reveal a possible motive for the killing. In just hours, the Florida Supreme Court will hear arguments to determine if a referendum question about abortion rights will be on the November ballot. Pro-choice activists submitted more than enough signatures to qualify the question, which would undo state restrictions and protect abortion access until a fetus reaches viability. There are rallies in Tallahassee on both the pro-choice and pro-life sides. CBS 12 News will have coverage throughout the day. There may be a vote this week in the Senate to test support for a bipartisan border deal, but it is expected to fail. Many Republicans now oppose the bill, even those who helped negotiate it because of opposition in the House and from former President Donald Trump. Over on the House side, spokesman for Speaker Mike Johnson says Republicans fully intend to try again to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas based on how he has handled border security. They did not have enough votes to do that impeachment last night. A spokesman for former President Donald Trump says he will appeal a court ruling that he does not have immunity from charges that he plotted to overturn the results of the 2020 election. The judges wrote no president has complete freedom to violate the rights of individual citizens to vote and to have their votes count. Trump repeatedly has said that he cannot be prosecuted for his actions as president. We're taking a live look right now outside from Jensen Beach. Rough out on the waters again for us today. Elevated rip current risk. Uh, waves could be breaking anywhere from 8 to 10 feet at times through the day. A look at radar right now. Onshore, we are dry. We've got some rain, though, hanging out off the coastline, moving south parallel to the shore. So I don't expect any of that to actually move onshore for us this morning. This is 6 o'clock this evening. A dry sky. We're going to stay very sunny as we go through the day. Now, we are waking up nice and chilly. 49 degrees in Okeechobee right now. 54 in Wellington. Boca's at 56, same with Delray Beach, Fort St. Lucie, and Stewart. Fort Pierce, you're at 52 right now. There's that north wind. It'll be a little breezy today. Speeds around 15 miles per hour, and it's a cool and comfortable finish. We're going to be in the mid-70s this afternoon. Matt and Sam. Lauren, thanks. That is all the time we have for CBS 12 News this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes, we are back in 30 minutes with another local update, and we hope that you join us right here for CBS 12 News at 9 as well. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, everybody.